a mother of two boys, Girika Cole lives in Maryland. She's been participating in the au pair program since 2015. There are a number of reasons why the au pair program is a really great fit for our family. And one of them is definitely the cultural exchange, but the other piece of it is that it is very affordable. Cole's au pair, 23-year-old Catherine Rodriguez, majored in international relations in her native Mexico. This program, I mean, how I really like, enjoy, or spend my time with, with the kids, and I want to improve my English. I think this is the best option to do it. Catherine and other au pairs spend a year in the U.S. on a cultural exchange visa. They agree to work up to 10 hours a day and 45 hours a week, with one weekend off per month and two weeks of vacation. She does the kids' laundry, she uh, makes their lunches in the morning, makes their breakfast in the morning, drops my younger son at school, she picks my uh, older son up from school and takes them on play dates, takes them to the library, um, gives them a bath, prepares dinner for them sometimes. A couple times a week she may prepare the food for the entire family. For all these, her host family pays Catherine $195.75 a week and $500 for education. But her money goes fast, eaten not by transportation, personal care products, and other expenses. Things are so tight, Catherine sometimes asks her family in Mexico for cash. Critics say the au pair program should be overhauled. The response to the child care crisis in America is not to have exploitable migrant workers who are underpaid. It's to invest in the system and make sure that child care workers are paid fairly. The government approved sponsor agencies that recruit au pairs dispute this. But last July, they agreed to pay $65 million to settle a lawsuit claiming they paid less than the federal and state minimum wages. Agencies say au pair pay starts at the $7.25 an hour federal minimum wage. Then 40% is deducted for room and board. So for a 45-hour week, the au pair only gets $4.35 an hour. Like most parents, Girika Cole says hosting an au pair has been incredibly positive. She says families can reward au pairs in other ways, including time off for holidays. We do more than what's required because we love our au pairs and we want to take care of them. Um, we want them to have a happy experience here. It's more than a job. It's really, it's a lifestyle and um, it's, it's, it's a win-win. Cultural Care Au Pair, which sponsors Catherine, told VOA that host families are free to pay more. So did the industry's trade group, the Alliance for International Exchange. But that hasn't always been clear to au pairs. Under the July legal settlement, sponsor agencies are now required to inform them. And a federal appeals court in Massachusetts recently ruled against sponsor agencies, finding that au pairs must be paid at least the state minimum wage of $12.75 an hour. What did you learn in the Spanish class today? Like many au pairs, Catherine enjoys the work and doesn't complain openly about the pay. She hopes it'll make it easier to get the cultural experience she originally signed up for. Verónica Valderas Iglesias for VOA News, Washington.